What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. We got Darman, homeless man kicked out of church. Now, this is actually on, I guess, a second Darman channel called what is this channel called? Oh, Darman Bonus. Darman Bonus. I never even knew this channel was a thing. It just popped up on my uh, on my time feed, and I was like, oh, okay, let me check this out. And the, the this video is a lot shorter than actual Darman videos, but I will continue reacting to Darman content as well for you guys, of course. But uh, yeah, let's check this one out. Original video will always be in the description down below. And while you guys are down there, if you like to follow me on my other channel, I am posting content over there as well. I will greatly appreciate that. And make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on. That way you do do not miss any of the uploads, baby. And let's dive into why this homeless man is getting kicked out of church because church is not a place to judge anybody. Let's check it out. Uh, nope. No, no, no. We are not running a soup kitchen here. You need to leave now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, ma'am. The disrespect. I thought I thought the pastor, because the pastor is black, and I thought he was finna say something. I, I can't. I, uh, listen, if you go to a black church, it's a community. Like it's it's like there's no judging in a black church. Like it's like brothers and sisters. The energy is always high. Me and my friends was having this conversation last week. How crazy it feels to be in a like a black church. Like the energy is insane. I haven't been to one in a long time, but it's something that me and my friends feel like we want to do soon. I'm not gonna lie. It is a bother. You stink and you need to go now. Is everything okay over here, son? No, everything is not okay. He just came barging in here, stinking up the church. It was just... Okay, she going crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, she is... Karen got to go, okay? There is no room for this Hoping at all. you preach, Reverend. Oh, okay. And I'm the Pope. <laughs> uh, I think there's a way to work this out for everyone. Don't tell me you're actually falling for this act, Reverend. Act? Just two weeks ago, the church down by Oak Ridge was vandalized and robbed by street thugs posing as worshipers. I'm telling you, this guy is nothing but trouble. Not looking to rob nobody. Mm-hmm. Sandra, this man has just as much of a right to be here as you do. Really? Did he donate thousands of dollars to help fix the church roof? Well, no. no but wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, bro, what? This this lady is going crazy in in church. Like, this is God. God wouldn't like this. That God don't like ugly. Okay, oh, wait, I know. <laughs> he helps organize the Christmas church parade every year. Ah, wrong. Once again, that was me, Sandra. Don't She's selfish. Sandra me, Reverend. I am a parishioner who gladly gives my weekly tithing and then some. I never heard and of that word not tithing. So I can sit next to some foul smelling street rat. If he stays, I go. And I Bye, bitch. you the rest All right, of the oh, oh, Excuse my language. Okay. <laughs> excuse my language, y'all. Like I, I gotta chill. I gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> the other side came out, bro. Excuse my language. That's no, my no. bad. <laughs> Sandra, <It's> okay, bye. <laughs> I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'll just be on my way. Go on. You think I can borrow this? I promised to bring it back. Go right ahead. Thank you, Reverend. You know he's just going to end up selling that, right? I don't know if anybody's just gonna go buy a Bible off of the street. Like, that's not happening. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Spare some change. Spare some food. <laughs> Get a job. These white folk at these church. You know what's crazy is I heard that sometimes it be like I'm not I'm not judging I'm not saying anything like that but I have heard that people get judged in white churches I I I don't know I I haven't had that experience myself when going to a white church I've been to white churches and black churches I've never had that personal experience but but I have heard from a lot of people that they have felt judged 
in a white church. They don't feel like that in a black church. I already know the energy is completely different. Black church be turned up. Like the energy be crazy. A white church is more chill, more calm. Like I've had both experiences in my life. I grew up with a lot of white friends. So my two best friends, my two longest friends in my life, 16 years and 14 years, they're white. How did it go? Did you get us some food? How about medicine? I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't get any food or supplies today. We appreciate you trying. <laughs> but I didn't come back empty handed. You said you wanted to hear a sermon. And by gosh, you're getting a sermon. Matthew 25, verses 35 and 36. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Glad to see you're still using that. Sorry for keeping it this long. I was planning on bringing it back soon. Keep it. That's not why I'm here today. Oh. And why are you here? I took up a collection in church yesterday, and I thought you folks might be able to use this. You have no idea what this means to us. Great. Everyone, help yourselves. You let us see shit like this, man. What do you have here? They're good people. Well, how did they all wind up down here? Lots of reasons. Jim lost his family to a car crash about three years ago. The accident left him with a bad leg. That meant he couldn't work in the warehouse anymore. Mm. Sarah's been here longer than me. She used to be addicted to pills. Mm. Messed her life up real bad. She lost everything and everyone. But with the help of the Lord above and a lot of support from the good folk right here, we got her through it. Good. Tracy's husband died from cancer about a year back. Oh, no. She went broke trying to keep up with the hospital bills. Damn, which, bro. Which, along with losing <laughs> her husband. Every time, every time I watch a Darman video, like, bruh, like, it's so, it's not, it's, it's relatable a lot of the times, but it's also, like, it makes you feel... Like, it makes you feel like shit in real life. Like, because these are real life situations. This stuff happens all over the place, everywhere. Put her like, into a deep depression. I've she fed the homeless job. before. I've done that as uh, during YouTube content before years ago. Um, We're doing what we can. To I've done that kind of stuff. It feels, good to, it feels good to help people, man. You know, I had no idea that so many people. You never know what anybody is going so through. so close to my church. It's such neat. And, so, and, and another thing, fault, another right? thing that I think gets overlooked, guys, about homeless people sometimes, because a lot of people like like the first guy that when he was sitting outside of the church, he said, get a job. And he just explained what happened to those other homeless people right there that are with him. Like one lady, she her husband passed from from uh, cancer and she went broke paying the medical bills like that. Sh that shit really happens, bro. And there's nothing you can do about like like that 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 will take that will ruin your life, especially like those those bills ain't cheap, bro. Like they not. So sometimes homeless people aren't homeless because of their own actions. They're homeless because of circumstances and situations that happened in their life that they had to try to make work and try to make make happen. And even saving somebody's life in the process, like their loved ones, and it ends up dragging them down and ruining their life as well. It's, Every, it's deep, bro. It's very deep. Try to keep out of sight around this place. Neither the people nor the cops around here take kindly to us. You know, I just might have an idea that'll fix that. But I'm going to need your help. What are you doing here? I already explained to you last week that you can't be here. No, Sandra. These are my guests. What? You invited them? Why? Because it was the right thing to do. 
No, it's dangerous is what it is. No, these are good people, just like you and like you. They want to hear the word of the Lord, and who are we to deny them? That this part. is outrageous, Reverend. What has gotten into you? A good friend of mine reminded me of Matthew 25, 35. He said, for I was hungry, and you gave me food. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. For I was a stranger, and you took me in. And that verse is about- I'm getting goosebumps right now. Strangers in need. And I know this community has compassion. And just last week, I asked all of you to donate clothing, food, and medical supplies for those who are in need. And you happily delivered. So look around. These are all the people that your donations helped. But I ask, why should our charity and goodwill in here. We are able to donate food and clothing to these good people, but we can't share our pews with them. For too long, we've ignored the suffering of our fellow community members. We've shunned them, forced them into the shadows so that we can pretend that they don't exist. I say no more. Amen. We will yeah. no longer judge yeah. these Get people. that message across, my brother. Not avoid them. We will embrace them and invite them into our house of worship. Come on, be good neighbors and introduce yourself to our latest parishioners. Make them welcome. Come on. I am so sorry for the way I act. Peace be with you, brother. And also with you. Thank you. You look like Steve Kerr. <laughs> I'm sorry too. Maybe we could start over. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend, for all of this. No, thank you. For what? For reminding me of why I became a pastor in the first place, to help people, not to judge them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it's all about, baby. Hey, I like this a lot. I'm not gonna lie. This was this was a W plus. It was like, it wasn't 30 minutes long, you know? So that also helps, man. But hey, powerful message in this video. Good energy. I'm feeling really good after reacting to this. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to react to more Darman bonus content as well. And uh, the original video will be down there. And also, uh, the first link in the description is my gaming channel. I am doing content over there as well. So if you guys want to show support, I will greatly appreciate that. Love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. We are out. Peace.